Hi, I'm Michelle Marillo, and I just wanted to share for a couple minutes today about who you are in Christ. You know, when I met Mario, uh, I had always been a Christian. I'd been raised in a Christian home, but I didn't always know all the warfare that could happen. And when you meet Christ, sometimes you think, okay, I've got God now. Jesus is in my life, and he'll just take care of everything I need. And he does. But he does expect you to grow up in him and to learn to be strong, to know his word, and to stand strong against the enemy. Because the enemy is out there to deceive, to destroy. He doesn't want you to make it. He doesn't want you to fulfill your destiny. And a lot of times we, we lean on our own uh, confidence when God is wanting to, us to lean on his confidence and who he has created us to be. Psalms 92.10 says, Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You have empowered my life for triumph. And I've learned in these situations that I've been in in my life that only God has the authority and power, that I can do nothing without him. But he does expect me to do my part. There's many times when the enemy has come against me and I've been discouraged, uh, deceived, and almost given up and said, Lord, I can't do this. I thought you would handle this for me. I thought that if I lived for you and I did everything right, that I wouldn't have to face these battles. But there is a real enemy out there, and he hates us, and he hates who we are, and he's jealous, and he will uh, come after you in many situations. But God wants you to come to him. You need to go into your prayer closet today if you're facing a situation where you feel you have no victory, you have no strength to fight. Get into the prayer closet because I've learned the minute I do, God's peace begins to just fulfill my being. And I begin to just know that I can win through him and that with him, I will never lose. Now, sometimes situations don't turn around the next day. And I've actually been in some battles that have taken years and years. But God has taught me as I trust him and look to him and stand strong that I will always have the victory. So I just want to encourage you this day, if you're under an attack, if the enemy has, uh, whether it's sickness, whether it's uh, people in your lives that the enemy has sent against you, don't be discouraged, don't give up, and don't give in. I was actually going through a situation uh, one time where a person had come against me for quite a few years, and I finally just gave up. I said, Lord, I can't do this anymore. I gave in, and I said, I'm done. I felt like I didn't even want to live anymore because I was so discouraged by the situation. And one night, the Lord actually woke me up, and he said, Michelle, by what you've done, you've opened a door, and the enemy has come in, and you've allowed him to be able to do things in your life that he should never be able to do. And that night, I repented. I told him I was sorry that I, I should have never opened that door. I told my husband, um, I'm sorry for what I've done, that I needed to trust God. I got on my knees, I asked for forgiveness, and I began to take him at his word. And I said, Lord, this situation may not change when I want it to, but it'll change when you're ready. And I trust you no matter what, because you said you would never leave me or forsake me and that you would never fail me. So today, I just want to encourage you, no matter what situation you're in, whether you have a, a demonic attack through someone that's coming against you or your health. And I myself have been in health situations where uh, the enemy has said, okay, you're done. You're, uh, you're not functioning correctly. Your body is not working. You're in pain. You're suffering. But I've learned that Jesus promises that he will heal us. He shed his blood. He said, by my stripes, you are healed. And I've really had to stand on his word. But every single time, God has brought me out in victory. And I am here today. Because years ago, I would say about 20 years ago, I had such an attack against my body, uh, the doctors had even given up. They said, Michelle, we're sending you home. We don't know what to tell you. We don't know what to do. 
But the Lord clearly spoke to me back then, and he said, you know, the enemy wants to take you, but I'm not ready for you. You have to stand and fight. And I was determined that day. I said, Lord, I will obey you. And I stood up, and I began to tell the enemy no, that God wasn't done with me, that he had a calling on my life. And as I rose up, God said, now I'm going to heal you. Now, in my case, it was a little bit different. Some people are instantly healed, but God began to heal me one day at a time. And my life began to change. And over a two-year period, God brought me back to total health. And I just want to encourage you, don't give up today. Trust God. Stand. Don't let self-pity come in. Don't give up. But just continue to look to him. And tell the enemy no. Tell him you've had it. You're not going to listen to what he says because he will continue to uh, put thoughts in your mind of discouragement. But don't receive those thoughts. Don't listen to those thoughts. You say, that's not what my God says about me. So right now, I just want to say a prayer for you for whatever situation you're in, whatever battle you're going through. Lord Jesus, I'm just asking right now, Father God, that you will touch their hearts, their lives, their bodies, Lord Jesus, that they will begin to stand up and fight, Lord Jesus, that they will resist the enemy and what he says and his thoughts. We don't receive his thoughts. We receive what you say about us. We receive your word, Father, that you will bring us out to health and victory, Father. No matter what the battle will be, what, no matter what it may be, Father God, you said you would never leave us or forsake us. And I ask right now, Father, that this discouragement will fall off now. And this self-pity will fall off now because self-pity is so destructive, Lord Jesus. And God, that you would give them the power now to stand and to rise up in boldness and confidence, knowing that their God is going to touch them now. And I thank you, Jesus, for complete health, complete encouragement today as they look to you, Father. And God, we give you the glory, Father. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you that you are our victor, Father, in your precious holy name. Amen. So be encouraged this day, and my prayers are with you. Thank you.